Here's a wall setting circuit you can do to work on your hands. First thing you're gonna do is just work on regular sets. From here, you can switch to single arm sets. When you switch to single arm, you want the form to be the same. So all I'm doing is taking away one hand, but that form stays the same. When you take away one hand, you are gonna have to move it over so that one of your fingers is in the center of the ball. Otherwise, it's not gonna go straight. For the most part, you're keeping the hand exactly the same and you're just taking away one hand away. Once you get that down, you can do level change sets. That's where you set normally and go down and then go up. Working on setting at different levels. From there, you can do side sets, setting to your right first. You could do setting to your left. Once you get that down, you can do 360 sets where you go in a full circle like this. You want to spin one way that way, and then you want to spin back the other way. Once you do those, you can even do single leg balance sets. So I'll stand on just my left leg and work on my setting like this. Then I'll stand on just my right leg and work on my setting like this. You can do about 20 to 25 reps with each setting position, and then you can repeat that for more sets. In order for the wall setting circuit to be successful, you have to make sure that you are focusing on something to work on. For example, let's say I'm working on even hands in and even hands out. That's where I'm gonna focus on the entire time that I'm doing this drill. Another thing you can focus on is working on your spacing with your finger. I want the index finger and the thumbs to be at the same spacing on the ball. So I want it to look like this. This would be not the same spacing. This would be not the same spacing. So choose a specific aspect of the hands to work on and then utilize the wall setting circuit to master that skill.